In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a zombie survival type shooter game in Scratch. In this video, I will cover the basic player movement, shooting, zombies, and bullet collision. So, let's get started. Alright, let's start with the character. So, I'm going to draw a top-down view of a person. So, this is going to be the head. I'll make it a bit smaller, like this. And then, I'm going to draw the two arms, like so, holding a gun, like this. Just change the gun to a dark gray color, just to make it look more like a gun. And, okay. Now, let's make it so that whenever you press the right or left arrow keys, then he turns left or right. So go to events, grapple when flag clicked, get, get a forever loop. If key right arrow is pressed, then turn clockwise by 5 degrees. And then if key left arrow is pressed, then turn counterclockwise. 5 degrees. Now, if we run this, if you press the right arrow key, then it moves like this, 5 degrees. And then if you press the left arrow key, then it moves counterclockwise, 5 degrees. Now I'm going to center him so that when you rotate it, it looks better. So right about here. Okay, this is a bit better. Now I'm going to make it so that when I press the up arrow key, then it's going to move a certain amount of steps. So grab an if statement. If key up arrow is pressed, then move, let's say, four steps. So now, he moves four steps when you hold the up arrow key, and then turns left or right if you press the right arrow key or left arrow key. Now that we have this, I'm going to make the gun shoot out bullets. So create a new sprite. And then I'm going to draw a quick bullet. I'm going to make it yellow. And this big. Maybe a bit smaller. Okay, now uh, go to your character. And then grab another wind flag clicked. And another forever loop. If key. I'm just going to say space is pressed, then create a clone of Sprite 2, which is the bullet, and then wait, let's say 0 0.3 seconds. Now go to the bullet, grab a when flag clicked, and then hide so that it initially hides, and then when I start as a clone, then show, go to Sprite 1, which is the character, point in direction uh, direction select the drop down menu right here of sprite 1 and then get a repeat until loop repeat until uh, touching edge move I'm just going to say 15 steps and then Add a delete this clone after the loop. So now if you test this, the bullets shoot out in the direction of the player. I'm going to make the backdrop gray so that you can see it more clearly. So like this. Okay. Now if I shoot, then the bullets shoot from the player's direction. I'm just going to make the player white and adjust this gun a bit. Whoops. So like right here, and quickly adjust this to make it look better. A bit this way. And, alright. Also make sure to add a move 20 steps in front of the when I start as a clone. So that it appears 
actually in the gun, not behind the gun. <clears throat> so if we play it right here, it's still a bit behind the gun, as you see right here. So move 30 steps. Okay, yeah. Let's put this after the point in direction. So after it's in the direction of the player, then it moves 30 steps. So yeah, now it's, as you see here, it's outside of the gun. Like, it's on the gun. Instead, if I took this out, this would be behind, right here. So let's put this in. I'm going to change it to like 25 steps, I think. I think that might be better. Yeah, and make sure to go back 99 layers so that it's in the most back of the screen. So now if you try, yep, it shoots out of the gun properly. Make sure to center this completely. Center the bullet and the gun so that so that it aligns well. I'm going to put this a bit down and move this arm a bit this way. So I'm going to shoot it. Okay, I'm just going to move this bullet a bit downwards. A bit more. Okay, yeah, it shoots perfectly out of the gun. Now that we have this, let's create our enemy that the player will shoot at. So I'm just going to create a zombie, as i shown you in the beginning of the video. So, a uh, black outline. Okay, I'm just going to copy the player costume. So, copy this, take out all of the code, and then just take out the gun. And reposition the arms a bit, so that looks like a zombie with its arms facing outwards, like this. Alright, so now I'm going to paint it dark green, and it looks like a zombie. Now to spawn multiple zombies, I'm just going to hide the real sprite, and then add a forever loop, add a weight block, I'll just say wait 1.2 seconds, create a clone myself, and then when I start as a clone, uh, go to, and then grab a pick random block. So go to X, let's say right here, 250, and then put the pick random block into the Y. So pick random negative 170 to 170. So when it spawns, it would spawn from a range of right here to up here. Add a show block also, and then a forever loop. Um, point towards the player, which is sprite 1, and move uh, one step. So now if we run this, the zombies should spawn and then move towards the player, like this. So now we want it so that if the player shoots the zombie, then it dies. So let's go to the bullet and then add a or statement. So repeat until touching edge or the zombie, which in this case it is sprite 3. Now let's go to zombie and then add an if statement. If touching the bullet, which is sprite 2, then wait 0 0.1 seconds and then delete this clone. The reason I add this 0 0.1 seconds is for buffer to make sure the bullet actually touches the zombie before it dies. Now if you test this then yep okay the zombies die by the bullets. If you want the zombies to have lives then let's create a variable let's name it um, zombie lives Make sure to check for this sprite only. Click OK. And then set zombie lives, let's say, to 3. And then add a um, change zombie lives by negative 1 in the if statement. And then add another if statement if um, less or equal to. If zombie lives are less or equal to 
is less than, I meant 1, then wait 1 seconds, and then delete this clone. Let's also add a wait 0 0.1 seconds in front of the change zombie lives, and then take out this one. I'm also going to add a change in the brightness effect to let the player know that you shot the zombie. So set brightness effect to, let's say, 60, and then wait, I'm going to say 0 0.5 seconds, and then set the brightness effect back down to 0. And then I'm going to add it right, probably here. Oh yeah, I meant 0 0.05 seconds. And now, if you play this, um, 1, 2, 3. So yeah, it dies. Like this. If you guys want me to, I can make a part 2 with wall collision and walls and different guns. And more of the gameplay mechanics. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. See ya.